Welcome back to Go. Well, we're toasty warm inside the University of Winnipeg's RecPlex, and we have the man himself. Jason Smith is going to be one busy man. The week has finally arrived. That's right. We're excited. It's finally here. We're uh, been working for a long time, almost a year now, to get to this point here. I, I mean, we're starting setting up this RecPlex uh, early yeah. next week uh, to uh, get our street festival going. This is our MacDon fan experience area, and uh, yeah, we're excited. So right now, this is going to be the family experience activation center, so what can we expect? We are going to have uh, 20 different activations in here. There's um, all kinds of stuff. Basically, you'll get a chance to see what it's like to be a CFL player in here. Uh, there are obstacle courses, kick a field goal, run and pass type ideas. So it's essentially going to be uh, rain or shine uh, indoors, so you can come down. It's free for the family, and you can interact with a whole bunch of great CFL and uh, bomber activations down here. So right here at the University of Winnipeg, it's going to be the huge Grey Cup Festival site outside, just outside the doors. It's going to be a, more activation centers, including the Shaw one, which we're really excited about. Let's move on now. Um, I want to know, who's singing the national anthem for the big game? Uh, Bobby Bazzini is singing for a uh, yeah. pop star from Quebec, mm -hmm. who uh, has, in the last couple of years has had, gained quite a bit of notoriety. Uh, so uh, I'm excited, actually. He's got a great voice, and, and we're excited to have him come to town. And I guess for a lot of us Winnipegers, we worry about traffic, about parking. So mm -hmm. any suggestions when we want to bring our families down to celebrate? Sure. Well, one suggestion I have actually is don't come down with a car because uh, we've, uh, we're have we working with the City of Winnipeg, uh, MPI, and uh, Transit to, to provide free shuttle loops that are going to loop around the downtown area for the duration of the festival. So if you can get a Transit connector in, uh, you can bring the whole family down, not worry about parking, and, and work your way around the festival for free. So. Awesome. Well, I know, like you said, you've been working a year and a half on this, but it isn't just you. You have a whole staff, so kudos to them and any thank yous you want to do. Oh, sure. Well, it's true. We have a great staff. Uh, Andrea, Burgoyne, Lisa Marie Buccini, Bree, uh, Amy, Laurel. There's a whole bunch of folks over there. The Bombers, Wade Miller and the Bomber staff have been extremely helpful. The host committee and all the volunteer committees. Too many people to name, to be totally honest, but uh, it does really take a, a village to create one of these things. And uh, I have an enormous amount of gratitude for how hard everyone has worked to to help us get to here. So it's certainly not just me by any stretch. Uh, and you know what, I think the weather is going to cooperate. So come on downtown throughout the week, see everything being built. And then of course it's the party. So try and get some rest now, Jason, because sure. I don't yeah. think you're going to have any come Thursday through till Sunday. No, I'll be fine. It's uh, as I said, I've been uh, building up for this week all year. So I'm excited to get, and I'm sure I'll be fine. Uh, I'll make it through the week for sure. Well, we all thank you and your crew. Don't go away. After the break, we head to the Forks and we find that it's all hashtag Grey Cup.